In this demonstration, I will show you how our LSS E64 calendar system integrates with Microsoft Outlook. So let's get started by adding a simple rules-based uh, event. Up in the top left-hand corner in the LSS calendar group, just click New Event. Uh, here now we can uh, enter an appointment deadline task. I'm going to leave it at deadline, put in the client matter number, leave the jurisdiction. We're gonna, this is going to be an answer to complaint served, and it's going to service method electronic service, and it already has my default timekeeper listed here, so we'll click save. So the system goes out to calendarrules.com to get a list of the various deadlines associated with this trigger. I'll accept these and click save. So those four events have been set up in the LSS E64 calendar system and as you see here down at the bottom of the screen they've also appeared in my Outlook calendar. The first two deadlines are on December 29th and if we move forward we can see there's one in January and here's one in February. So let's go back to December and take a look at one of these two events. Double click on it to open it. So there, these have been set up as all day events. There's the date uh, of the deadline. We see here that it's an LSS deadline, the subject, and then information about that event, like the client and the matter number, the client's name, matter description, and so forth. So I'm going to close this. And let's do one more real quick that has a little more significance. We'll use the same client and matter number as we did before. This time for the trigger, I'm going to choose Trial. Pick the Trial jurisdiction. We can put in some additional description here if we want to. And click Save. And so let's put in the trial date. We'll set that for, say, um, June 13th, 2012. Click Save. And again, the system goes out to calendarrules.com to get a list of all the dates based on that uh, June trial date that I entered of June 13th. So based on that, we have a list of deadlines all associated with that trial. And you can see there's uh, quite a few here. I'm going to accept all of these and click Save. And the system's now adding all of these deadlines to the LSS E64 calendaring system. Now. While that's happening, it's also going to synchronize with the Exchange server. So within a minute or two, we should start seeing some events start popping up here in the Outlook calendar. It can take anywhere from just a few seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on uh, how much data is involved and what else might be going on. While we're waiting for those to show up, I will talk about the subject line just for a minute because this is really important to a lot of attorneys and different people like different things to appear here. I have my subject line set up so that it just lists the client number followed by a dash and then the first part of the calendar description. But if you don't like it that way, each user can personalize the formatting of the subject lines. So you could have the matter number in there if you want or the client's name, uh, the trigger, the jurisdiction, you name it. So within a minute, if we scroll out here to February, these are all new events that came from that trial. Go out here a little bit further. All of these came from that single uh, trial trigger that I entered just a minute ago, including up to in this uh, June 13th event that says Day of Trial. So you can see how easy that was. We just filled in one screen and all of these events appeared in my Outlook calendar. I'm going to open this one up and uh, show you something. If we go up here to Update and LSS, it'll bring up the entry form. And it brought up the form for this one particular event, which is the day of trial. I'm going to click to update the parent record where we can see the screen as we filled it in originally. Now, uh, in firms, particularly the larger ones, you know, there may be many timekeepers that need to be notified of all of these deadlines. I just included myself here, but you can list up to something like 20 individual timekeepers that are to receive these same um, deadlines or tasks or appointments. You can list up to 20, 10 or 20 
supervisors and um, 10 or 20 departments and departments can include any number of timekeepers so you could have a department that includes the entire firm if you wanted to and same thing will happen it'll schedule all of these events and they'll be uh, replicated out to each respective time timekeepers calendar and outlook now let's say the trial date changed. We just added this and now we found out it needs to be rescheduled. It's going to be on the 14th instead. All of the deadlines surrounding this trial date need to be adjusted accordingly as well. And uh, with LSSE 64, all you need to do is change the trial date, hit OK. And again, we go out to calendarrules.com. It gives us back a list of all the newly uh, calculated dates. Click Save and it's all updated in LSS. And again, again, like before, within a few minutes, uh, you'll see the, all of these events start shifting on, on your Outlook calendar. So there we go. Everything's moved over. I'm going to open this up again. We'll update the parent. And this time, I'm going to delete the whole set. And all of these deadlines and appointments have now been removed from the LSS calendar system and will shortly be removed from my Outlook calendar as well. And you see they just disappeared. So I'm really just focusing on the Outlook uh, aspects of the LSS E64 calendaring system. Uh, I haven't really gone into any great detail about the calendaring functions within the LSSE 64 system and we do that in other videos or you can give us a call and we'll send you a link to the video or or schedule a, a online meeting um, to go over that in more detail uh, there's one last function right up here I'm going to show you really quick just so you realize it's there and that is to open the calendar and what that does is it brings you into the actual LSS E64 calendar system and this is where you can uh, organize or, or search and report on calendar events based on case number, timekeepers, uh, date ranges, um, you can even search for calendar items by jurisdiction trigger, activity, court codes, and, and things like that. And it doesn't matter if your firm has 500 you know, attorneys and, and millions of deadlines in the system. This is all managed through a, a SQL database, and your search results are going to be instant um, every time. So it's a very powerful system. It has some great integration features with Outlook. In fact, you'd never even have to leave Outlook uh, to do everything you need to do uh, in the system. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to give our office a call. The number is 800-331-4122 or visit our website at lsse64.com. Thanks for watching.